A New Year's pay increase is days away. The state's lowest wage workers are set to see their paychecks rise by $1.13 an hour starting January 1st. The minimum wage in New Jersey will now be $14.13, the result of a state law signed by Governor Murphy in 2019, putting New Jersey on track for a $15 minimum wage by 2024. The new amount is almost two times the federal minimum wage but economists say the jump may not be enough to keep up with the state's high cost of living and rising inflation. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. So one dollar extra, can't, you can't do anything. Rafael Santiago warmly welcomes New Jersey's $1.13 minimum wage increase set to take effect January 1st, but he adds a stone-cold dose of reality. With annual inflation topping 7% and the price of groceries, gas, and rent gouging holes in people's pocketbooks, a buck 13 an hour more adds up to an extra 45 bucks a week. You can see that, oh, it's extra money, but uh, the life, day to day, you don't really gonna see it. If you work eight hours, eight hours a day, like I mentioned, how much will be at the end of the day? Other extra eight dollars, like let's say nine, you know, let's, you just, like I mentioned before, you can buy coffee and gadanas and that's it. Santiago works as an advocate for minimum wage workers in New Jersey. They'll earn $14.13 an hour next year, among the highest minimum wages in the nation. But he says folks are struggling and skyrocketing New Jersey rents, pushing many to sublet bedrooms in their apartments, especially immigrants. They have family, they have to put the children so all together in one room and rent the other room. And they can apply for, for help because most of them, they have no documents. New Jersey is unbelievably unaffordable and making what, $14 an hour? I dare anybody to scroll through Zillow and try to find a place you can live on $14 an hour in New Jersey. That's what, $28,000 a year in New Jersey? That is not a living wage. New Jersey working family Sue Altman believes large employers particularly should pay workers decent wages. And not every employee will even make $14.13 an hour. New Jersey's agricultural and seasonal minimum wage hikes lag by two years. What's a living Jersey wage? New Jersey's cost of living is pretty high. Rutgers economist Perul Jane estimates inflation's push costs for the average Jersey household up another 400 bucks a month just to buy the same goods and services. But New Jersey's minimum wage increase, even with that extra 13 cents an hour for inflation, adds up to $180 a month. A family of four needs to earn a lot more to actually make ends meet, Jane says. With two, two children, uh, the living wage would work out to something like um, $43 an hour. So, so you see, there, it is, there is a, a, a bit of a disconnect over here. The federal minimum wage remains $7.25 an hour, but New Jersey's among some 27 states that will raise their minimum wage next year in recognition that workers need and demand more. Since New Jersey's Fight for 15 law was signed in 2019, wages have climbed at least a buck a year and will hit $15 an hour in 2024, with additional annual increases indexed for inflation. It's no surprise for business owners in the post-pandemic marketplace. In the last few years, we've seen a consistent rise in wages to the fact that, frankly, when we talk about $15 minimum wage, most employers are paying above and beyond that in order to recruit and attract the best that they can. Attracting and retaining the workforce is the number one challenge for New Jersey businesses today. Even though it's just a minimum wage increase, it really forces us to increase everyone's pay in order for it to be fair across the board. Allison O'Neill owns the iconic Colonial Bakery, a Lavalette landmark and longtime summer favorite. As a seasonal business, the bakery's minimum wage here would rise to $12.93 an hour, but O'Neill already pays most of her 50 to 60 staffers more to attract and hold good people in a tight job market. When you add inflation, it's a potential recipe for disaster. Those are basically our three biggest expenses, payroll, ingredients, and paper goods. And they have all skyrocketed over the past couple of years. Um, and again, in order to compensate for that, 
we have to raise our prices. She says the bakery doesn't plan to cut costs by laying people off, so customers will end up paying more. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.